Hey, hey, what's going on everyone? RC84 here. Like always, thanks for watching. Well, my friends, welcome to update number four on the H1 project, working on the Hummer H1 body shell from HG, which is the P415. Now, I covered this in the last update, number three, about the vehicle. Uh, HG had two of these vehicles. They had the military version, which is the P48, which is the Humvee, and then they have the civilian version, which is the P415. Now, both of these vehicles are the exact same vehicle, same chassis, same electronics, same wheels and tires, all that good stuff. Uh, so you can interchange a lot of the parts over because they are the same body, same chassis, all that good stuff. But uh, anyway, we're not going to get into that. I just wanted to kind of you know just say that to you guys but anyway we're going to be talking about wheels and tires now this has been one of the most troubling things for me is trying to find the right wheel and tire to go along with this vehicle uh you know and it's hard for me because i don't have a local hobby shop nearby i can't just run 15 minutes down the road to a hobby shop i actually have to go out of state to go to a hobby to a hobby shop i live in uh i live in north carolina the closest hobby shop for me is down in Murrow Beach, South Carolina. I live about an hour from the state line and uh, it's now 20 minutes to the hobby shop after I get into South Carolina. So about an hour and 20 minutes for me to go to a hobby shop to look at stuff or to buy stuff. So a lot of the times I am ordering stuff offline or online. <laughs> So, uh, you know, it, it's kind of hard to judge by, you know, the picture you see on the screen versus having it in your hands. You know, you can really tell if it's going to work or not. So for me, you know, when I'm looking online, I have to like really search for a few days and make sure that, okay, this is going to work. If not, I can always send it back. But anyway, but after that, I did find some wheels and tires to fit it. But here's the thing with about the, about the HG Humvees, the 408 and the 415 they come stock with 1.9 wheels and tires now the tires are really an odd size like they're a 1.9 tire but they're a lot smaller uh smaller than a 425 uh because i actually tried using 425s on here and it just would not fit without having uh body scrubbing what what like uh, what i like to call body scrubbing where the tire is hitting the body and i can't stand that on none of my vehicles i just don't like that sound and i i feel it's just going to damage the tire and stuff like that and so i just don't want any kind of body scrub but uh the tires are like just like i said odd size uh i think i managed them the stock ones were like 380, 390, somewhere in that ballpark range, I think it was. I think it was around 380, 390. Uh, so trying to find a wheel that will actually fit it is very difficult. Now I had a set on there when I did my first initial upgrade to my Humvee there. I put on some uh, some knockoff RC4 drive Mud Thrasher wheels and they worked on there. Uh, they cleared the fender wheels, no issues. But uh, I really didn't like those tires. They kind of, they, they felt really rubbery. Like, uh, you know, I know the tires are supposed to be rubber, but it just felt like very slick kind of rubber, like the compound just wasn't really there. And uh, so I wanted to trash those and get some other ones. And so let me show you what I have here. Now, both of the wheels and tires I got off, off Amazon. So you can say they're Chinka wheels. Uh, so knockoff versions of you know, name brand. So anyway, show y'all right here. So here is the wheel and tire. So the wheel or the rim is from Goo RC. I think it's, I think that's how you pronounce it, Goo RC. Uh, but these are also a scale replica of the Kinston Stone uh, wheels. I actually looked that up and I saw a picture of it and I was like, huh, okay. So it's actually a real version tire, just uh you know, no brain, no no name on it really, but uh, very nice, high quality wheels that are made of aluminum, uh, three piece bead lock. You got five screws on the back that clamps it down, which I totally love these type of wheels. A lot of my crawlers uh, that I do have have these type of wheels on there. It just makes it a lot easier to uh, to install onto uh, the tires and stuff. So I really like that. So, but uh, yeah. Now it does also have, uh, it also came with like 20 some of these little 1.5 millimeter screws to put on the side right there where you see a little, all the little holes there. Uh, they don't really do anything, it's just more of an appearance look, 
but uh, I might actually leave them off. I did like half of the rim before just to see what it would look like and I I wasn't really sure if I wanted to do that. That's a lot of time to put a lot of these 1.5 uh, screws on there. So I probably would do without them. I think it looks pretty good with it you know, without it. Now, let's get into the tire part. Now this is, like I said, hard for me to do. But anyway, I decided to go with these knockoff version of the Dixie Creek Mud Countries. Uh, and uh, you know, they're a really nice tire. I mean, it feels really good. Like the compound feels like it's really there. Uh, grip wise, you can see all the tread on there. Give you kind of close up view of it. Not too close, the camera's going in and out on me. But really nice looking wheel. Now I've seen a lot of like mixed reviews. Some people said that they were really great tires. Some people said that they were really crappy tires. Uh, but that's, you know, everybody has an opinion on stuff. But uh, anyway, I mean, what do you expect for $16 on the tires? I mean, honestly, I'm not really looking for performance on this vehicle. This is gonna be my trail truck. This is what I'm gonna go out and take on the trails and do some light, light crawling. Maybe go over a few little rocks and roots and stuff like that, but nothing like full-fledged mountains of rocks and crazy obstacles. Uh, this vehicle was not designed for that whatsoever. And I try to tell everybody who looks at getting one of these that it is not a crawler. Yes, it's in the crawler category, but it's not a it's not an Axio SCX-10 or an Element or a Traxxas or anything. It's not going to go up mountains of rocks and crazy obstacles. It's just, it can't do it. <laughs> so just want to let y'all know that too, that is not going to be that type of vehicle. Uh, so I'm not really worried too much on performance of it. There's not much performance that you can do to the vehicle anyway, other than changing up tires, Electronics is probably the biggest thing, which I done initially when I did my upgrade on it the first time. I upgraded electronics on it because I wanted better electronics. But yeah, you know, but but there's not much performance you can do. There's probably a few little mods things that you can do to increase the uh, maybe the steering, increase it a little bit better, make it a little bit better. But uh, I'm not sure that I sure. But anyway. So let's go ahead and get these things installed and see how it looks on the Hummer. And uh, so yeah, so let's go ahead and get into it. 